Hello and welcome back to the Excel 2010 Essential Training Series. Before we start, make sure you've downloaded this file by clicking on the link below. Today we're going to be looking at conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows you to change the way a cell looks based on its content. Let's start by adding some conditional formatting to the sales column. So highlight all the numbers in the sales column. Click on conditional formatting highlight cells rules and greater than. We're going to put a number in here so in this example we're going to put 24 so what this is going to do is this is going to change the formatting of all the cells that contain a number that's greater than 24 so 25 and above. We then can choose what we want to change the formatting to so I'm going to choose green fill with dark green text. If you wanted to you could customize the format but I'm just going to stick with the default one. So green fill with dark green text, press OK. Now if we look all the cells that have a number that's greater than 24 is now in green. So if I were to change this one from 24 to 25 you see now that is going gone green because it's now greater than 24. We're going to add another rule to this sales column, so highlight the numbers again, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules. This time we're going to do less than. So we're going to say less than 25, so this means 24 or below. And we're going to use light red fill with dark red text. So anything that's 24 or below will be highlighted in red. So press OK. So now anything below 25 is highlighted in red. So if I change this back to 24, so it's below 25, you see that is turned red now. So as you can see, this is a really useful feature. We could also add this to the profit and loss box. So if you click on the profit and loss box and conditional formatting again, we're going to do greater than, so let's do greater than zero and we'll see if it's greater than zero so we're making a profit we'll have a green fill with dark green text it's okay and we'll add another rule let's do less than so if it's less than one we'll have the light red fill okay so at the moment we're in we're in minus figures so it is less than one so it's gone red but let's try changing some of the sales figures so that we get a profit and see what happens. So let's change this to 20. So we're making a profit and now the cell has turned green. Okay, so that's really useful. It's really good to make things like profit and loss stand out and really obvious. Now if you wanted to remove some of these rules from the spreadsheet, what you could do is highlight the cells go to conditional formatting and you've got the option clear rules and you can either do clear rules from selected cells or clear rules from entire sheets. If I do selected cells see now it's just removed the rules from those cells and it's left that one there. And that's all there is to it. If you found this tutorial useful make sure you subscribe to the Classroom Multimedia channel so you get updates whenever we add a new tutorial.